Walmart, the largest retailer in the world, that has a market cap of about 387 billion and pays a dividend of around 1.5%. The question you should be asking is, how much money can you make with Walmart stock? As you can see, the stock price is down a bit, only 8%. And in this stock analysis, I'll help you see their business model, their fundamentals, what opportunities they have, the risks, and at the end, you'll find out the fair value of Walmart, whether it's a good buy at the current price. There are many great businesses out there, but only a few are great investments. My goal is to find those investments where I can double my money in the next 3 to 5 years. So let's see if Walmart can be such an investment. Let's begin. Walmart is a US retailer that has operations around the world, and their business model is like this. Walmart has about 11,000 locations in the world, where they sell different types of merchandises, plus they offer some services. If you want to know more, 5.5 thousand locations are in the US and the rest are international. Let me give you a clear picture of their operations. Walmart buys products in bulk, at low prices from local and international suppliers. They sell those goods at a higher price in their stores and on their websites, pay their workforce and other expenses, and what's left are the profits. That can be used to pay dividends, do buybacks and reinvest in the business, to grow their earnings even more. It sounds simple, but there are a lot of operations behind this business. For instance, Walmart has two types of stores. Walmart stores, where any consumer can go and buy goods or order them online at walmart.com. The second type of store is membership based. Consumers have to pay an annual subscription to shop at those stores. They call it Sam's Club. Of course, consumers can order online from samsclub.com. In addition, they have other small websites in different countries. E-commerce is about 13% of their total sales. Moreover, Walmart allows other third-party sellers to sell goods on their websites. Walmart also offers advertising services to those sellers and logistics services. You can get an idea of where the most money is coming from by looking at their segments. As you can see, Walmart US is about 70% of their total sales, followed by International with 17% and Sam's Club with 14%. This segment has the highest growth rate, so a big part of the revenue depends on the US. As long as the US economy grows, Walmart will increase its revenue if they compete efficiently. Now, let's take a look at their fundamentals. Walmart has a market cap about 387 billion at the current price and pays a dividend about 1.5%, or $2.24. Revenues expect to grow from 572 billion to more than 660 billion by 2026. Note that their fiscal year ends in February. And earnings are expected to grow a little, from 14 billion to more than 21 billion by 2026. You can also see their free cash flow for past years. It's about the same as earnings for some years, but you also see some differences, as Walmart diverts some of their businesses and others. So their numbers are likely to grow, if they can keep their market share. Total assets are around 247.6 billion, of which cash is about 11.5 billion. Total liabilities are 167.2 billion, of which debt is about 33.9 billion. As Walmart makes over 10 billion earnings a year, debt is not a problem for them. Now let's see what the opportunities and risk are. First, you should know that the Walton family owns about 48% of Walmart. As the dividend is about 1.5%, the Walton family gets about 2.9 billion a year in dividends. So the second half of these dividends is for you, if you want to join them. Don't rush, let's see if Walmart can still grow its business. What you can expect from them is to expand their business more internationally, to open more stores. Second, as e-commerce is about 14% of their total sales, they have a lot of room to increase their online presence. The retail operations will grow with the economy in each country in which they operate. If inflation is about 2 to 3% in the long term, their sales will increase. Now, inflation is about 6%. Moreover, people got used to Walmart. They shop there for their convenience. So it's a stable business. Another important thing you should know is that they do a lot of buybacks. They plan to use another 20 billion in buybacks. If they keep doing those buybacks, the return will be much higher compared to the return from earnings and dividends. So Walmart will grow with the economy. Don't expect a lot of growth, because they are already big. Now let's see the risks. The main risk for Walmart is competition, which might make their profits decrease, especially the competition from Costco and Amazon. If Walmart doesn't compete well with those players, he may lose market share in the future. I've noticed that Walmart tries a lot of strategies. If you look at this website, you will see the same design as Amazon so they try to copy everything they can. Another important factor I noticed is that Walmart pays lower wages compared to Costco and Amazon. This means the customer experience won't be that great, 
because if you don't pay your workers well, why should they strive to improve their work, to take care of consumers? People really matter in a business, the way they behave. So that's their main risk, competition that can hurt their long-term margins. Now let's talk about investing in Walmart. The stock price has gone up a lot in recent years, because the government printed a lot of money, there was that stimulus, and then inflation. Plus, Walmart has been doing a lot of buybacks. Now, when you want to invest, you also have to see the risk, how much money you can lose, and the reward, how much money you can make. So the risk of investing in Walmart depends on their future growth. For instance, if Walmart only grows by 3% in the next 5 years and then growth stops because of competition, then the fair value will be about 170 billion for a 10% return on your investment. As Walmart pays a part of its earnings in dividends, I use a payout ratio of 60% to calculate the present value of those 10 years. Now, the reward, if Walmart grows its earnings by 6% and then 5%, then fair value will be about 308 billion for a 10% return on your investment. The multiple is 30, but still the market cap is too expensive for 10% return a year. As you can see, the market cap is about 387 billion. And the normal case, where Walmart grows its earnings by 5% and then by 3%, the fair value will be about 203 billion for a 10% return on your investment. Now, another thing you should know is their buybacks, whether you want to count them in your valuation or not, because I don't know if they'll do buybacks as they did in the past. They currently have another 20 billion available for buybacks. That's a 5% return at the current price. If you expect that Walmart to use 20 billion every year for buybacks, then you can expect a return about 5%, plus 2.2% return from the normal case. So Walmart can deliver about 7% return a year if they keep doing buybacks. But it's up to you if you want to invest with a marginal safety and be more conservative. And tell me in the comments where you see this business in the next 10 years. And if you find value in this video, please give a like and subscribe to see more videos like this because I want you to succeed.